Hello and welcome to Let's Play Asterix and the Secret Mission on the Sega Master System, 1993 Sega. The story of the game is that the magical potion that protects uh, the village of Asterix and Obelix from the Romans is starting to run out, uh, um, and so Asterix and Obelix have to go and, um, and find some more herbs in order to make some more potion. And that's it. Um, there are seven levels in total, and we can play as Asterix or Obelix. In the first game, uh, there was a really good two-player, because player one was Asterix and player two was Obelix, and we could play, or rather, um, player one and player two alternated. So player one went first as Asterix, and then player two um, played as Obelix in the same level. In this, player two has to use the player one controller, so you have to sort of hand the controller over. Um, and also, player two doesn't take over as Obelix until player one dies, so it's not as good. Um, there's also a, um, a bonus round with dogmatics, but it's difficult to it's difficult to get up to it. The manual states that um, one has to have um, a multiple of four bones in his possession in order to get to the uh, the bonus round. But I've managed to. Um, to exit level 2 as Asterix um, with 8 bones in my possession, which is a multiple of 4. Um, and I didn't get on to uh, the, do uh, the Dogmatics bonus stage, so I don't know. Um, I have managed to get on to uh, the bonus round with Obelix, so maybe I'll be able to show you then, but... It's difficult to understand, I don't know what it means. Um, well, entirely, because it doesn't work. Um, anyway, that's that, let's play the game. Um, Okay, so we can choose either French, English, or German. That's not the flag of England, that's the flag of the UK. The flag of England is St. George's Cross, which is white with a red cross. That should be the flag of the English language, because it's English and England. That's the flag of the UK, which isn't England. That includes Scotland and Northern Ireland and Wales and all the other riffraff. Anyway, so... Um, yeah, this game is a lot easier than the original game, and that's mainly because you can get infinite lives. I'll show you when and how later on. Anyway, let's choose English, of course, and, and we'll choose one player. Let's choose Asterix. In this video, I'm going to be choosing Asterix all the time. In the next video, I'm going to be choosing Obelix all the time. Okay, a short cutscene. Yeah, so you can get infinite lives because when we find a blue pot, if we leave, like just walk to the right and then come back again, for example, then the pot reappears along with its contents. So you can just get it over and over again and get infinite lives. A bit like uh, how you can get infinite lives on um, Sonic 2 on the Mars system on some acts because there are, the monitors reappear when you lose a life and there's more than one life monitor. So you, can, so you can lose a life, get two lives, lose a life, get two lives. But in here it's even easier. To, uh, you don't even have to lose a life. You know, that's the yellow potion that allows us to do a charged, uh, um, a charged uh, uppercut, allows us to get some blocks. You can't get them from underneath, so you have to get them from the top if you want, which is annoying. I think these grey blocks do reappear, but I'm unsure if the contents reappear or not. But they definitely reappear for uh, the blue pots. I'll try my hardest not to lose a life in this game, but because of the... Yeah, another complaint about this game, there's extreme lag when there's too many sprites on the screen. It's really irritating, and it can make platforming really awkward. So, I'll show you when that happens, um, when it happens. Of course. I mean, when else am I going to show you? Anyway. Okay, to the right are just two um, pogo stick Romans. They don't really do anything, they often bounce around. And then there's the exit. Anyway, if you go up here, um, we get to walk on some clouds, which inexplicably we can do. I mean, at least they explain that we, how we can do it in Land of Illusion with the cloud shoes. But in Wonder Boy and in this, I mean, it's just assumed we can walk on clouds. Why? Why can we walk on a cloud? It's made out of gas. Anyway, there's a life. To get those annoying birds, and then there's another life. And if we go away and come back, ta da, the pots return, so we can get another life. And we can keep doing that over and over again. There's no time limit, as far as I'm aware. Uh, the, uh, the egg timer doesn't seem to be doing anything in the top right corner. Um, that doesn't matter. There's also, um, yeah, other items are there's some meat, which gives you one bit of health. There's also a horn or something, which gives you all your health back. And the bones I've talked about already. Now here, we can't go left, we, uh, but we can go right. Now if you keep going right, it sort of loops itself around. 
Um, so the only way to catch up with this man is because, yeah, because you can't catch him because he matches your speed, is you have to go on here and we have to push this bizarre sort of um, letter block down. I don't know why it's labelled with a letter A, but it is. Maybe it's A for asterisks, I don't know. Anyway, push that down and we can't go left, but we can keep going right and loop around. And then uh, that will stop the, the Roman from running away. And then we can kill him, and because we need to kill him in order to get this note paper um, and uh, an exit level. What the paper is, I don't know. Don't forget, you can do a double jump. That becomes handy later. I think it's only for Asterix, though. Okay, be careful here. Don't fall in the uh, the water instant death, of course. Um, don't fall down there. I think it's... Death, no. Nope. Don't fall down there, that's death as well, I think. Oh, look at that lag, blimey. Okay, there's some health here. There we go. Right, try not to lose any more health if you can. Is it, otherwise it will make the next level a little bit tricky, shall we say. <laughs> Another one of those eagle things or crow things. Okay. Whatever. Good. Okay, leave. Okay, carefully fall down here. There's another one of those eagle things. That's it. Okay, now try to get yourself in that gap. There's a life we can get. If you want it. There we go. If you punch there, a life appears. There we go. Okay, get this. It's a bone. There's a bony. There's another bony down there. Yes, that's two bonies. Right, down here is nothing, but down here is a coin, so get that. Careful here, quickly go to the right before the boulders come, otherwise they're difficult to avoid, what the lag and all. Now, here, you have to do the double jump if you want to avoid getting hurt. If you only have one heart left, you have to do this to avoid dying. I'll see if I can do it. Yes, did it. It's very rare I managed to do that, but that's hard. Okay, so one of the medicinal plants is growing in a cave. Okay, brilliant. Okay, choose Asterix again. There we go. Okay, here's the cave. Now, do not touch these skulls, these little boneses here. If you do, they will latch onto you and they will drain your life away and there's no way to get rid of them until you die. So do not touch them. These levitating men will eventually, yeah, they'll eventually immolate, which means catch on fire, set themselves on fire, and chuck fireballs um, around. So uh, be careful with that. Now, jump over this. Okay, hit that. And then jump up there. There is a platform that I'll show you later, but it sometimes doesn't work, so be careful with that. There's another heart up here. That'll, that'll get all your health back and increase your life capacity. And another annoyance is there. There is a platform here, but sometimes it doesn't appear, so just be careful. Anyway, drop down. Careful of that. Yeah, don't touch the boneses. They, uh, they will drain your life away. And there's no way to get rid of them, believe me, I've tried. Okay, go over here, get him. Oh, oh no, you didn't get me good. There's a health thing out here. That's a horn, that'll get all your health back if you need it. Okay, climb up here. <clears throat> okay, avoid this annoyance. And then go to the left. Do not touch the bonesy. He will kill you. There's nothing you can do about it. And there's a bony there. You can get another bone if you want, but I don't need to. I know where there's another one to get a multiple of four, if indeed that works, but it never seems to work for me. That should be the end, whatever, coming up. No, another thing. There we go. Okay. Uh, just remember where that is, that becomes important later, another one of those levitating things. That's a false wall. That will turn on the water so it'll shoot you upwards like the well in the first level. There's a bony there, so that's a multiple of four we have now. Don't get another bone. Okay, let this thing um, shoot you upwards. And then go left. Okay. There's a horn, it should be a life if you punch there, okay? 
So that's a false wall. Okay, be careful of the bony. Okay, go away, Bonesy. Ah, now this bit. Now this bit can be tricky. If you can pull this off, this will give you a life. This is how you do it. You need to do the double jump. So do this and jump. Oh, just made it there. Yeah, just made it. There's a life. It doesn't matter if you don't, but there's a life if you want. It's the only way to do that. You have to time the double jump. Don't touch the water. For some reason, it kills Asterix immediately. So don't go in it yet. Or don't go in it at all. Just go down there. Now you have to run against this. So do a, a speed run by holding button 1 and then running. That will give you that block so you can do a double jump up there. Uh, okay, kill the Bonesy. There's the red potion. For some reason, that will get rid of the water. How? I don't know, but it does. Check there's nothing in here. Sometimes you get passages or something. No, I knew there wasn't, but I had to check. Okay, kill him. Okay, chuck the potion in there by pressing up and button one. No, missed it. No, wrong way. There we go. And then fall down there and then get the herb, which makes him flex his muscles. And that's the end of that. And I have four bones, notice, and I don't get a dogmatic. So I, I don't understand. The manual's lying. You found three of the plants. Very good. I heard that the pirates have one of the plants. Blimey. That, that, is some, that is some deep literature there. Okay. On a par with Spot the Dog. Right, okay. Choose Asterix again. I actually don't mind this music, even though the music in this game is pretty subpar. This music is sort of okay. We have to sort of avoid these fish. They're more or less easy. Just try your hardest. If you remember, the music of the first game, whoops, is absolutely brilliant. I love the music of the first game. This is just sort of not as good. I still find myself humming the, the tunes to the first game sometimes. This is... Yeah, they're very forgettable. Um, some of them are just really offensive. I'll talk about those later. Yeah, I'll try my hardest not to lose a life, but it happens. I, If I do lose a life, I apologise, but I will try my hardest not to. Oh, might lose a life now. Come on, that's enough. Game over. Oh. We didn't have to do this again. Good. Thank God for that. Okay, there's the... Oh, there's a bony. I have five now. Probably shouldn't have got that. Okay, there's uh, another potion. Now this will sort of explode enemies like that. It's um, sort of handy. Okay, go over here, I think, first. Okay, then we're blocked off, so we need to go this way. I don't think there's anything in there. No, it doesn't do anything. Okay, that's definitely health, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go away and come back. We'll need that bird soon. Whoops. I just need that health fill really. Okay, now we need him. Oh, good, it's worked good. Okay, he'll drop you off here. There we go. Well, first he goes, is there. There's another bony. Oh, there's a hidden coin there. Okay, kill him and then go down here. Okay, then go in here and that's the end. Why we can go in that one and not the other one, I don't know. Now these things are ghosts. Uh, if you punch them, it sort of uh, freezes them for a bit. What they are, why they are, or who they are, no idea. This level can be sort of awkward. There's some annoying jumps in here. We have... I think these were in the first game, um, but... 
I mean, look at that lag. But they're sort of awkward to do. Just get the life and then just fall down here. There we go. No. Very difficult, that bit. And that means I have to do this again. That lag is just horrid. It does mean we can just get this life again, though, so... It's not all doom and gloom. But, uh, but if I'm going to lose a life anywhere, it's usually here. Just have to time it right. Alright, just need to get right to the edge. Ah, e oh, just made it. Yes. Quick. Don't forget that double jump. It's really handy. But you can't do the double jump um, off the fountain thing. That's the annoying thing. Uh, because you're not jumping, you actually foot well. It is, it, I don't know... I don't know if it is because we're falling, because it worked on an earlier level, but it just doesn't work. You know, um, notice I'm, I'm trying to do the double jump here, and it doesn't work. So, it doesn't work. So, you can only you can only do the double jump when you're on the platforms, not when you're on the fountains. There's nothing you can do about it. Maybe they thought it made it too easy. Um, here, we want to go to the left. We have a sort of uh, a boss to do. He will chuck flames at you. Just, uh, if you chuck the potion at him, you don't have to get close to him. Uh, you can jump on his head like normal, but uh, don't bother. Just use the potion. That's what it's for. Um, try to get over here quickly. This bit can be tricky. <sighs> Quick. Ah, oh, screw it. That's a life, and I've missed it. It's difficult to get that, but it, it, it is possible. But it's actually a life. And the lag doesn't help either. You know, that's that. Oh, yeah, is this, the, is this the boss? Yeah, this is the boss, yeah. This boss can be quite tricky. Uh, do a double jump, bounce on him. Wait for him to go up to the top. He'll come down somewhere, then bounce over... That's annoying. That's because he was on the edge. Anyway, that's when you can get him. And he's at the top. Try to keep in the middle when he comes down, because... Then, he, and then he'll bounce... Uh, then his bounces won't be mucked up. That's it, good. And get him there. I think he needs about six hits or something, just... Yeah, that can be awkward. Just don't forget the double jump, it's your best friend here. When you jump over him, just um, do a down punch as well, just in case you do touch the top of him, because otherwise he'll hurt you. Okay, and again, that's it. That's where you want him. Oh, how did he get me? Oh yeah, he's dropping those things now. These can be a bit annoying to avoid. Um, especially with the lag. Just try your best, that's it, good. That was lucky. Now the lag can make avoiding them difficult because it can make you sort of run into them. Alright, so he's doing it again. There we go. Keep to the right because I have more room and then do that. Oh no. Oh, I just got him, good. I think he needs just one more hit to be doing another one of those... Spiky attacks. Yeah, nothing I could do about it. Right, he's coming down. There we go. That's it, good. It's rare I do him without uh, losing a life, to be honest. I'm quite pleased with that. I wonder if the Roman soldiers have attacked Gaul since we left. 
Oh yeah, the, uh, the snow level. Okay, once they shoot their carrot, they're pretty more or less harmless, unless you're stupid like me. Okay, um, keep to the top. Because there's, uh, yeah, some health there you can get. Might be able to jump over that. No, no. Okay, go down there. Don't get that again, unless you'll get sent to the top. Now, uh, uh, now this ghost enemy, how he's floating, I don't know, because he's just a normal Roman soldier. Okay, keep to the top first of all, because there's a knick-knack to get. Oh good, he didn't shoot his carrot. Now we have to try and not um, get to the top level, otherwise you have to go all, all the way to the left again and then down. Now this is how we do it, just get rid of him. This is how we do it. So carefully, that's it. Yeah, you have to fall down and then go back and, and then, then do a double jump when you're falling. That's it. Um, don't get the pot again. You don't need it. And that's that, good. Can't see the point of disguising yourself as a snowman if you're just going to move around anyway. I mean, it sort of renders the disguise useless, doesn't it? Oh yeah, uh, to get up there we have to do this. Do a running jump and then a double jump, that's it. Run up then a double jump, because uh, we need the potion. Careful here, ah oh, that lag. Okay, be very careful here. This can be awkward. Let's get rid of him, because he's... Yeah, that's the lag, because I was going slowly on the right. It's just... The lag just makes this the platforming so much harder, harder than it needs to be. It really does. Now I have to do all this again. Oh. That's it. I need to get in there. I need the potion, which is just where that annoying enemy was. Oh... Doesn't matter, I have infinite lives, more or less. Yeah, just take your time on this, really. Really is best just to take your time. Yeah, they will drop sort of snowflakes on you. Right, careful here, step by step. Step by step. Lagging. Oh, good. Okay, there's the potion. Now, before you go over to the left again, there's a secret passage here with another heart that, and, and a life. That puts our health to maximum now. Unfortunately, that annoyance has returned, so... It's best just to ignore him and just... Look at that. Look at that. Oh, at least I have the potion now. Anyway, once you get the potion, just head all the way back over here. Um, yeah, that's it. That's all I needed to do. Not you. Yeah, not throw the potion. Yeah, then go over here, and then fall down there. There's another secret passage over here, and yeah, I don't know why they put that there because I can't get it. So that's that. Okay, uh, there's the exit on the right, but it won't work until we push this block, this letter A block, into the left there. Why we have to do that, I don't know. As soon as you do so, it lights up red, and then we can go. It's 
best to go over that platform, not underneath it, for obvious reasons. Now, this music is horrendous. And you'll understand why it's horrendous after you've listened to it for ten minutes non-stop. Okay, those enemies will sort of make, yeah, snowflakes all the time. Which don't seem to disappear until they go off the screen, so... Wonderful. That's this annoying hammer enemy here. He's doing that. Okay, another, another one of these. The best way to do this is like this. Just run across and then do the double jump and fall straight into the pit. Wonderful. Okay. But yeah, that's how you do that, but obviously not with the falling in the pit part. Lagging, nope. Go away. You fill in there. Right, okay, do that again. Okay, good. That was close. Yeah, that can be awkward. Oh yeah, I always forget this, you have to press up here, yeah. That got me last time. Now here, if you light all three lamps, or the wrong combination, this will happen. But yeah, it's pretty awkward to get them all, uh, uh, to get one of them lit, because you keep sort of bouncing on it afterwards. There we go. Eventually this will happen if you have all, well, if you have the wrong combination, which is all three lamps is the wrong combination. Yeah, it goes black. Um, in theory, it is possible to do the level when it's all black, but I wouldn't if I were you, so... The right combination is the first two lamps on, okay? If you have the first two lamps on, then uh, then it won't go black. Okay, do not try to do this level with uh, um, with no light. It's uh, bordering on the impossible. God, this music. It's horrid. Okay, yeah, because there's the herb. Oh, this lag. Okay, there we go. Right, now this bit. This is the last one of these, I think. It's all like a, a, a maze of sorts. Might as well get that item just to show you what it is. To go down, and he's gonna hurt me. Yep, there we are. Okay, can't remember it being that difficult to get in there. Right. Uh, I don't know what the point is of going in here, but whoops, didn't mean to do that. Might be a life in there or something. I'll just check. No, sweet FA. Right. Get that snowflake past me. Now try to stick to the top if you can, because it makes this a hell of a look. Well, it's the only way through actually, but I'll just get this item. There we go, some health. Yeah, try to stick to the top, which I, I always forget the way. But, uh, pretty much don't fall down is, is the... Uh, is a good mantra to remember, if that's the right expression. Yep, mucked it up. Yeah. And this is why I hate this music, or another reason. Not only is it awful, but it reminds me of being stuck in this bloody maze thing. Just gonna get some health, right. We might be here sometime. Please, just let me, just let me jump there, please. That's all I want to do. No, that's not the way, is it? Uh, 
Okay, it's further back, isn't it? Uh, at least there's infinite health there. That nah, must be. Nah, there we go, right. Right, just. I'm gonna drop down there, that's what I don't wanna do. That should be it, yep, yeah, good. Alright, good. Oh, that's the end of this music, thank you. Right. Uh, the last plant is carefully guarded in a shrine near here. Great. Oh, yeah, this music. Listen to this music. It's like oral torture, all spelt with an AU. Lagging. Okay, carefully wait for this platform. Now be careful here. This, uh, These platforms can be really awkward. It's best just to ignore the bottom one and just go for it when you're on the top. Unfortunately, it does get harder. Now, this one's quite tricky, if I remember. Yeah. This music, honestly. There's a hell dimension out there somewhere where this just plays non-stop. Okay, now this jump is difficult. Uh, just wait. We need to get on that platform. Ugh. You want me on that platform. You need me on that platform. Just wait. That'll do. It's best just to wait to see where it ends. Right there, right, okay. Oh, it turned really quickly. I, I didn't factor that in. Yeah, those things will hurt you uh, if you walk past them when they're turning. That's how you avoid getting hurt by them, if, if you want to, if you care. But it doesn't really matter. Because there's plenty of health on this level. And you're more likely going to you're more likely going to die from the, from these platforms anyway. Trying to avoid those spikes will just waste time. Got it. I just went for it, you know. Sometimes you, you can just feel that, uh, that you can do it, and I just went for it. Now this is unpleasant. Now first thing you want to do is right. Uh, remember this place, okay? First of all, do not get these enemies that, that go down and um, uh, that hang from the ceiling. If you get even one of them, if you kill at least one of them, you won't be able to get the herb. So don't kill the enemies that are dangling. Okay? If you do, then you'll uh, then this door will lead somewhere else. If you didn't kill any of the dangling enemies, you'll be taken to the herb, and um, and then you can go in there like that and then go. Okay? Now we're back here again. Okay, now um, now you want to kill the dangling enemies, because otherwise uh, there's no other way out. And then the door will take us to... Um, I think you only need to kill one of them, but I always kill them anyway, because they're easy. Uh, now this door will take you somewhere else. Okay, take you to a conveyor belt. Uh, don't try to jump on the spikes uh, on the edge of them. They'll, they'll hurt you even, even, if you, even if you're on top of them. Okay, eventually we're taken here, and we can't get past uh, the statue there. Okay, so you want to go up here, 
and this will take us to a sort of upside down world, a bit like Land of Illusion. Uh, now I'm pressing left and going right, and I'm pressing right and going left. Okay, so that's the only thing you have to remember. Okay, left is right and right is left. That's all you have to remember. Try to be careful here because you can sort of muck this up. This music, seriously. And eventually we're taken here. Uh, the controls are back to normal now, and there's a potion. Now this potion will make enemies small. So it, um, it does that, okay? They can't hurt you, but you can still kill them. That's all it does, but if you remember the, uh, the statue that, um, that we can get past, well, it makes that small as well, so that's why we need it. Ah, oh, right in the spikes, of course. Okay, now chuck the potion at the statue, makes it small, that, uh, now we can get past. Okay, there's some health. Then you can go in here. Okay, now here, first of all, we want to go left. Now, that door will take you back to the very beginning where we had to avoid the, uh, the dangling enemies in order to get there, the herb. That will take you back there. Now, they put that there because if you come here without the herb, you can't leave the level. So that will take you back to the start. Okay? Uh, but I won't go in it for obvious reasons. But that's why they put that there. So you can use that if you want. Anyway, Press the switch, I'll show you what that switch does later. There's a life there. And then we're there. That's where the herb was earlier, so it sort of teases you if you don't have it. It took me uh, not too long to work out how to how to get the herb. I, it was really annoying. But yeah, you have to avoid the dangling enemies if you want the herb. Anyway, now I'll go all the way to the right now. Now if you Press the switch, it makes that appear. It makes that, uh, it, it uh, makes the shield appear. Pressing left will make you go right, pressing right will make you go left. So be careful here, but don't go into the spikes. Carefully slow down near the spikes like that. That's it. Then, then jump off like that. If you don't have the herb, then, um, then you can't exit for obvious reasons. So you have to have the herb. Anyway, uh, punch that lets you past. Okay, take care of him. Now we need to get down there, but we can't do that without doing something else. We need to get in that door, but we can't do it without doing something else. So we need to go to the right first. Yeah, that annoying spear. Uh, avoid them. They're hard, harder to get through on the way back. Anyway, to get in that door, you have to press the switch. So press that switch, and now we're allowed in this door. Okay, go in here. First of all, go to the, um, to the left and get the potion. Then go back, do a double jump, press the switch and get the nonsense if you want to. Another big heart, which is nice. Then go back to the door. Now we have the potion, now we can go to the left. So quickly go to the left, try to avoid them. It is tricky on the way back because it, they're going in the opposite direction. Well, um, we're going in the opposite direction anyway. All right, let's just run. There we go. Lag. Okay, now with the potion, now we can punch these blocks. Don't think there's anything in them, but we'll find out. No. Okay, you can go past that when the yeah when the rope is down. Mistime that there. There we go. Oh, this music! I just can't get out. I'm sorry to flog a dead horse, but this music is just diabolically awful. Absolutely painful to listen to. Alright, anyway, on the you know, on the right, past that annoyance, is a switch, so make sure you press that. Um, and then, yeah, if you don't, then something won't... Oh, I thought I was going to get hurt there. Something won't happen later. 
Now, you think, oh no, how can I go? There's, it's, there's nothing there. But if you press the switch, there's an invisible platform. If you didn't press the switch, there isn't an invisible platform, so make sure you press the switch. That was close. Okay, there's nothing to the left, so just... Uh, so go down here. And then when we drop down here, we see that yeah, the, the A's have gone down. Now we can go in this door, which is nice. And here's the last boss. Now, this last boss can be tricky. Avoid the, the black spheres as, 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 as best you can, really. Um, it is difficult, I appreciate. Yeah. But just try your best to avoid it. If, if something's going to kill you in this boss, it's going to be the black spheres. Always the black spheres. They are very difficult to avoid. Oh no. I've, I've made a pig's ear of this, I'm sorry. Right, now this is difficult. Because uh, more black spheres are going to appear. Uh, this is the last boss, by the way. Oh no. Just wait for him to come up. Try to be on the the side with the biggest gap. Oh. oh, I've really mucked this up. We shouldn't have lost so much health. Because after you kill him, more black spheres come. And, uh, yeah, see. Even though I killed him, the black spheres came and they killed me. So you can still die after you kill him. Which is, uh, doesn't make any sense at all, but uh, that's just how it is. And the lag doesn't help either. It means I carry on moving, even though I, ch I, I change direction, but I carry on moving in that, in that direction. So there's nothing I can do about it. See, you know, the black spheres are coming now. Just try to let them bounce over you. Here they come. You can't get him until he's all the way up to the top. So he's completely resurfaced. There we go. How did that get me? Oh, that's quite good. One more. That's it. And get him. Not bad, not bad. But famous last words. That's it, he's dead. Keep away from him. Stand about here and let the things bounce over you. That's it. Because they can still hurt you even after he's, he's dead. number of times I've died after killing him. I've lost count. And that's the end of the game. Well, the end of the game is Asterix anyway. I've tried to show everything. I've tried not to die too much, but... I mean, I don't like dying in these games, but I don't really mind so much when the game isn't as good. I mean, uh, dying in this game, it, it, it's always a cheap thing, you know, especially with the controls and the lagging. So, it, it makes the platforming more difficult than it needs to be. And I didn't show you Dogmatics, even though I had a multiple of four bones when I exited a level. Hopefully I'll be able to get it as Obelix, but there's no promises. I mean, it just seems like a rushed game. Hey, look, there's that little nappy man from the from the first game. Do you remember that little nappy man who was in in the clouds in the bonus level in the first game? Yeah, he sort of chucked lightning bolts at you. That looks like him. Why well, is everyone really small? I think he's called um, Getafix. The uh, uh, the wizard bloke, yeah, the druid, and the, and, the, and the chief is called Vital Statistics, I think. I haven't read Asterix for ages. I have read a few of them and seen the films. And that's that. That's the end of the game. Okay, so next video I'm going to be showing you Obelix's um, Obelix's game. Uh, some of the levels are actually more difficult. There's this sort of maze level in this sort of wooden area with with some awkward platforming and some doors that lead. It's really difficult, actually. Well, not really difficult, but uh, difficult to work out when you first do it. Um, 
Funky KH. If I made a game, I, I, I would want my full name to be on the credits. I wouldn't call myself Funky KH. Uh, for some reason they've um, tied up that. But I can't remember who that man is. He's, he's sort of like a, a fop or something, and he, and he sort of annoys the other characters. I'm, I'm unsure. I haven't read again. I haven't read Asterix. I've seen the films in ages. Okay, uh, is that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay, next video then I'll be showing you Obelix's way. Thanks for watching, um, and goodbye.